Hey folks, Jessica here. I'm back with day two information from Grandfest. So they announced the Water Doggo character. Uh, that's the Chinese Zodiac character for 2018, which is Year of the Dog. Uh, previously, these have been Andira for Wind, Anila for Fire, and Mahira for Earth. So Water is the next logical choice. Here's the character. Super cute. Definitely dog themed. Doesn't look like a water character, though, I have to say. Like, the colors don't scream water to me. Uh, so we'll see. I, I mean, it probably will be a water character, because it'd be weird if it wasn't, but you never know. Uh, interesting, also, because the Zodiac characters, quite frankly, have always been, like, with the exception of Anilla, um, so Andira and Bahira are both, like, top of the meta. They're both super strong characters. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, I suspect that you're gonna play if you're playing whatever element they're releasing. You're gonna want that character, <sighs> which is another thing. Spark Sigh. <laughs> uh, Odd Lang Sign Mahira was revealed. Odd Lang Sign is a song people sing at New Year's. Um, I'm not gonna sing it. <laughs> don't get your hopes up. Super cute. Love her little dress coat, dress suit. Uh, I'll probably pick it up since I use Mahira on my Earth team. More New Year skins, Yukata skins for Lancelot, Shalata, and Zeta. Probably gonna skip Lancelot because he's a gross boy, but also because I don't run Lancelot. Uh, gonna skip Shalata because I don't run Shalata. And uh, I'll pick up Zeta probably because I love Zeta. Zeta looks like me. Yeah, I'll put my hair in pigtails sometime for one of these and you'll see what I mean. Uh, there's a Yukata, Dran, and Ajita skin also. These are super cute, but apparently they're gonna be from like physical locations in Japan, so it's going to be a little bit hard to acquire one of these if you're not in Japan. Uh, in the past, like with Visa, Chan, Zoe, uh, and like promotions like that, you can usually find someone willing to sell a code to you, if it's a code, which it probably will be because I, I, I'm not really sure how else they would hand them out. So uh, just keep an eye out if you really want one. I'm sure there will be some way to get one um, in the States, for example. It's going to be more expensive, though. Like, that goes out saying. Let's see. Shadowverse collab event. Uh, Shadowverse uh, is... Um, it's side game's card game. Uh, I think, yeah, the event is called Duelist of Eternity. And uh, it's a pretty good card game, actually. If you've never heard of it, Shadowverse is basically a Hearthstone with waifus. <laughs> I, that sounds derogatory, but it's actually a really good card game. Like it's very, very similar to Hearthstone, but it differs enough that they're distinctly different games, and uh, it's it's quite a well built card game. I, I I I've played it a few times. I like it a lot. If you want to check it out, it's free to play. Totally recommend it. Let's see. The next Legfest char uh, weapon on cap will be Lucia's Spear Eden. Uh, as you probably know, they've been trying to give um, final uncaps for all of the Grand Series, just slowly over time. Uh, for the most part, these have been incredibly powerful, so I'm really curious to see what uh, Eden will look like. I'm also, <laughs> I'm also selfishly excited because I have two Edens, and as you've heard me complain before, I have an MLB Zeus, but one Chevalier Sword, so if Eden ends up being good, I might actually be able to run my Zeus Red. The Nilla Zodiac character will be receiving a 5-star uncap. That's interesting because, as I mentioned before, Anila is the one Zodiac character that's actually not that good. She's not terrible, she's just not like as overwhelmingly powerful as um, as Endera or Mahira. So we'll see if the 5-star uh, brings her up. It's also interesting because she was a limited character at one point, so... I guess they're starting to do 5-star uncaps for limited characters. Uh, I mean, I might be reading too much into it, but it would be nice to see, like, Grand Series 5-star uh, FOB uncaps, just because, like, characters like uh, Catalina, like SSR Catalina, uh, Catalina's, like, probably the main character of Grand Blue besides, like, Digita, or, I guess, Grand Blue. But, uh... <laughs> But but her character is starting to not be as good as it was before, and some characters uh, from the Grand Series have never been like super super OP or anything like uh, Alicia 
or um, IO. So it'd be nice to see them get five star unlocks, just to, to see like them come up in power to match like just their status within the story. Uh, speaking of Catalina, six Neovira stickers. Uh, I would say if these are easy to get, I'm gonna get them, but if they're hard to get, I'm still gonna try and get them because I love Vera. She's a crazy blonde lesbian like me. These parody existing stickers, and they are all super adorable. Oh God, <laughs> they're so cute. Oh, I can't handle it. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Extreme difficulty for Arcarum. You know, I've been calling Ar Arcarum Arcanum for this whole time because I want to say our carom is not a word, and our canum is a word. Uh, but that's splitting hairs. Uh, extreme difficulty released. Five weapons related to our carom will also be added. Uh, they haven't said anything about what the weapons will be. In interested, of course. Um, it's funny that there is extreme difficulty being announced already, because if you have been doing our carom every single day since it came out, I believe you would have just unlocked hard difficulty maybe like three days ago. So like the, they're definitely on top of this one. There's FOBR Karam summons. Here's a picture. No words on like how strong they'll be. Probably pretty strong judging from the Arcarum summons uh, that we have. Uh, the five hooded Arcarum oracles become playable characters. Question mark, question mark, exclamation point. <laughs> you get them by maxing out the respective Arcarum summons. Uh, they really haven't said anything about like what their stats would be. Uh, it'd be interesting if they were like as powerful as say like Eternals, like the Guild Wars characters. Uh, certainly difficult to acquire. Okay, so before I announce this one, you can read it, uh, but I'm gonna say that there's a disclaimer on this one. But, but the announcement is everyone gets a free primal of their choice uh, during the What Makes the Sky Blue event. Uh, part two. What Makes the Sky Blue was an event they ran in uh, January last year. That's the one with like Sandolphin and like all the Archangels and stuff. Uh, I, I want to say that they'll probably run it again, uh, probably in January. Uh, no promises. It's just that's. It seems like they put they poised that one to be their New Year event. Uh, so here's the disclaimer. Uh, the some you're going to be getting. Uh, is it has the same functionality as a primal summon according to this, but it's not going to be called the same thing and it's going to be slightly weaker. So uh, they haven't clarified exactly what that means, but I would guess. So like for example, Hades uh, is 120% to normal modifiers for weapons, uh, for dark weapons. I would imagine something like maybe this summon will be like 100% at FOB or something like that. Uh, they, they will be weaker during this, but they'll still be they'll still be a primal summon, and that's huge. Like I've got, uh, like one of my dear friends uh, has been trying to bring Varuna home for a while now, and now she'll finally be able to run a Varuna grid, even though she won't actually have Varuna technically. It's still like the thing with the the primal summons. What makes them strong is one, they are one hundred twenty percent instead of one hundred percent, like the Magna summons. Uh, the, that that distinctions that that gap's gonna close when Magna gets FLB, but also um, they boost weapons that are typically a lot stronger than um, the Magna weapons, like gotcha weapons or um, moon weapons, <laughs> like anything you have to spend money to get. Those weapons are typically like just statted better. They typically have stuff like Trium on them, like just they're, they're just stronger weapons. So even if the, the bonus is reduced, being able to use those weapons boosted is a pretty big deal. Uh, also, this little cat, like I was kind of, <laughs> okay, scumbag whale speaking, uh, I have all the primal summons. Uh, the primal summons, by the way, are Zephyrus, Zeus, Hades, uh, Agni, um, Titan, who am I missing? And Varuna. Uh, so I've got all of them, but apparently uh, you can also elect to just receive a Sunstone instead of your Primal, not really a Primal. So so I'm, I, I'm pleased, because <laughs> I'd be a little bit annoyed if I... I, I wouldn't be annoyed, because I could still get one and uncap of it, but a Sunstone's nice. It's nice that they're looking out for us. Uh, day 2 Presents. 
this has been such a generous event, like between the roulettes, uh, the temple roulettes and everything. Day two presents, we're getting a gold bar. That's that's super big. I don't know if you watched my video on like what to do with items. You can use your gold bar to uncap weapons. Don't do that. <laughs> use your gold bar for um, getting a Guild Wars character, a Revenant character, an Eternal, whatever you want to call them. Uh, or for five starring one. Those are that's really the only thing you should use a gold bar for. Gold bars are extremely limited. Uh, I, I don't know how many you can get total right now, but they're extremely hard to get. They're extremely limited, and like they unlock some extremely powerful things. Extremely. <laughs> uh, so yeah, get your gold bar, save it, use it for a gold wars character. Uh, two more Akaram badges. Uh, three gold moons, a gold spell book, 3,000 crystals, 50 half pots, 150 soul berries, 2,500 CP, and a partridge in a pear tree. No partridge in a pear tree. So, yeah, that's everything. Uh, a lot of free stuff this year. Uh, if you haven't been playing Grand Blue a lot um, and you're thinking about like coming back at any point, I would definitely just log in and get all this stuff because this is like a huge bonus. Anyways, that's all I've got for now. I think this is the last day of Grand Fest, uh, so there's probably not going to be any more major announcements, but if there are, I will release another one of these videos. Anyways, uh, I probably should go get breakfast now, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, love you.